What's going on everybody? It's me, Working Man, and welcome back to our playthrough of Diablo 4. Let's see. Let's go uh, put a couple things in my stash. I can just break this shit down because I don't think any of this is I want to save. Can't carry any more. I hate that. I don't know why she keeps saying that. Wait, what I get? A coiling ward salvaged from and used to improve legendary armor. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll break that down. Damn it, I keep doing that. It's pissing me off. As for the others, I think I'm gonna save them in my inventory, and uh, I might use the uh, what you call it, the uh, aspects on them, for on uh, some of my other gear. Come to think of it, is there anything I want to switch? Uh, dealing damage to vulnerable enemies has a 39% chance to daze them up to two seconds, maybe. Uh, when you cast a actually, clone is... Okay, yeah, definitely want to change that one. Let's, uh... Speaking of which, um... Uh, where is, uh... Oh, yeah. Okay, I, got, I don't have enough purple right now to... You know, get try to get another I've sword. Fine pieces. Rare and beautiful. Wait, what am I doing? Let's... I need to go visit, I think, this guy. Alright, tell you what. Take uh, my bow. And... Let's see. Let's... Oh shit, I forgot. You gotta destroy the legendary item or whatever. Okay, when you evade or shadow step, leave behind. Okay. Hmm. Tell you what, let's, uh, we'll do both if we can afford it. Uh, I do like this one, the evade, where I leave behind the stun grenades. Alright, and then we'll do that one too. Okay, then let's take our bow, put in, uh, let's see, let's 
Wait, what? Allowed item types. 1H weapon, 2H weapon, power increased. Wait, what? I don't get that. What is a 2H weapon? Oh, two-handed weapon. Oh, man. Wait, is a bow considered two-handed? Let me look. I don't see where it says two-handed or not. I mean, I would assume a bow is a two-handed weapon. What about this one? Damn. Uh, amulet power increased by 50%. Why? Why do they give them, uh, you know, power increase on add amulets and two-handed weapons? I don't get that. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put this one on. Oh, you got a rare one. Alright, let's see. Oh, nice. Uh, I forgot. My, uh, I guess the gloves give me that, uh, that core skill ability. Thank God I still have it. Upon taking damage from... Oh yeah, that one's pretty good. Uh, Barrage's arrows have 18% chance... Okay. We definitely want to switch this one out. Wait, why am I even wearing this ring, honestly? I don't even remember why I put it on. That, that is weird. I mean, I guess it was better than one of the ones I had, but anyway. Whatever. So, we already got it on. Damn it, it doesn't get a bonus for being on a ring, so that sucks. Hang on, what is, uh, let me check my dagger, see what's on that one. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one. Um... suited up and badass. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm, that's weird. I wonder why I can give my pants uh, two sockets, but I can't do that with uh, my boots or... Actually, my boots don't have a socket, do they? How come I can't... I can't put a socket in them? So weird. Hmm...
Yeah, I guess I'll put it into this ring. Yeah, I only have three of them, so it's expensive too. Do I really want to do this? It's a tough choice. Man, I really do want that armor, though. Yeah, what the hell. Let's do it. Alright. Need another skull. Nice. Okay, so now our armor is 2,649. Let's, uh, hmm, what is, uh, our next quest, and where the hell is it? Oh, it's all the way up here. Hmm. Tell you what, let's, uh, go look around and see if we can't, uh, find any of those orange events, and actually, you know what, let's look up here. I didn't think of it. There's a lot of areas here I haven't explored. Um, I'll tell you what. Let me uh, look at the map. <clears throat> Alright, so. If I look at the map. Alrighty. <clears throat> anyway, hope I'm not getting sick. <clears throat> Alright, so... Damn. There's a couple nearby that I missed. How the hell did I miss those? Let's see. Should be near... Uh... Yeah, I think it's right... <clears throat> I need more time. Jesus Christ, a lot of people throw shit on, on the ground. Too bad there isn't a way to like increase the number of poison traps you carry. Intelligence increased by two. Alright, so now that I got that one, let's see, there should be one. Looks like, I think, here. Oh, 
event. Well, I guess strength increase is okay. Another legendary ring, what the hell? I mean, I don't, I'm not complaining, but I just, you know, want to know why I keep getting rings instead of weapons. Just got the one, uh, I think that was it right there. Okay, so I guess the next one would be, let's see. It's a little ways down here, let's see.
Damn it. I guess I already did that one. Okay, so ah. Should be over here somewhere. There we go. It's a willpower one. I wish it was dexterity. Alright, so now we want to head here. in here. Maybe there's one of those little side quests where I can get some purple. on me, bastard. Hmm, that was easy. Really? No purple? That sucks. It's a crossbow. What the hell? It looks like a stick. It's 199 more damage. Wow. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until uh, I have enough purple to maybe get a new bow. I don't, I mean, maybe I'll get lucky and find a, what you call it, a legendary one out in the field somewhere.
time. Another strength one. Where the hell are all the decks? Is there a waypoint around here? Or? I don't think there is. Some stuff for me. There you go. All right. Where is the next one? Looks like it's gonna be on. It looks like a lot of them are on these little peninsulas. Maximum capacity of murmuring is increased by five. What the hell is murmuring? I guess I'll have to look that one up myself, cause, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck murmuring is. Hang on one sec. Okay, I looked it up. Turns out, uh, I guess I didn't read the whole thing fast enough. It's just, uh, you know, uh, my, or, well it says it right there. I'm stupid. Holy shit. But yeah, it's the purple things. Basically, it allows me to increase my uh, capacity by five. Which kind of sucks, because, I mean, I've been wandering around this map for a while now, and I haven't really found, uh, you know, a whole lot of, what you call it, uh, orange events or whatever. Alright, let's see. So, I got that one. Where is the... Uh, okay, so it looks like there's one here. Is that for... Oh, I was from Necromancer. Alright, so let's head back up here. I wonder if there's anything over here on this peninsula.
Eh, guess not. I don't see anything. Some topaz. I guess it's alright. I'm talking about. That's a nasty little combo there, that little shadow and poison. And look at that. It just eats away at everybody. I love it. I need more time. What, you want some more? Huh? There you are. Intelligence. Damn it. I want fucking dexterity. Oh look, I got a trap set for y'all. Come on. Got that one. Looks like there is another one. Over oh wait, uh, already got that one. Um, it says there's a waypoint. To oh wait, yeah, I already got that one. Let's see. Okay, there's a another one up here. Okay, I, I got that one. Need to head. Um, somewhere over here. What the hell? We'll go by foot. You never know. We might run into an orange event. Knew I'd find one if I wandered around.
Where are the rest of you bastards? Huh? Where are y'all hiding? Ah, here we go. Ooh, all right. We got a boss. Y'all ready for this? Da -da 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 -da. Thirty-five purple. Ah, I hate when I pick up random trash. All right, let's see. Killing a vulnerable enemy grants you fifty percent increased enemy regeneration or energy regeneration. For four seconds. Hmm. Eh. Hmm. Damn. I wish uh, I could put that uh, skill on those gloves. That way I can get that plus two uh, rapid fire. Speaking of which, let's see. Alright. This bow. Um, it's uh, plus 270 damage. Wow. Um, let's see. 23% damage to distant enemies. 40% damage to injured enemies. Plus 30 to all stats. Hell yeah. Uh, 27 basic skill damage. Okay. Yeah, what the hell? I'll put it on. Let's, uh, see if we can't put on... And, uh, that won't work. I need to like look online like after this video and see like where's a good place to farm you know purple Something just so, like, soothing and wonderful about just wandering around the map, killing shit. Not worrying about the quest or whatever, just having fun killing stuff. I can really feel the power in this new bow, like, I feel like, uh, yeah, I was, uh, kind of handicapped before. What do we have here? Please be artillery. Oh man. There's nothing I love more than getting a good artillery shrine.
Alright, what do I get? Or, what should I get? I mean, uh... <clears throat> Let's see... Yeah, so many options, it's like, what should I choose? Imbued skills gain 3% increased critical strike chance. Very nice. Let's see. Alright. Um, the... Or, let's see, if the infection expires before the enemy dies, it will deal 293 damage to only that enemy. Um, let's see. Your next two imbuable skilled... Er, hold on. Your next two imbuable skills deal shadow damage and infect enemies for 6 seconds. Infected enemies explode on death, dealing 293 damage to all surrounding enemies. Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll power this up. Let's see. And then you have a 15% uh, increased critical strike chance against uh, injured enemies infected by shadow. And then shadow imbuement's primary explosion makes enemies vulnerable for two seconds eh. enemies infected by shadow imbuement take 12 percent increased non-physical damage for her from you for eight seconds non-physical damage so i guess like my poison and stuff if i remember right these are the better ones right here let's see uh, poison duration is increased by one second. Critical strikes uh, with poison. Hold on. Critical strikes with poison imbued skills set, uh, deal 75% increased poisoning damage. Uh, poison imbued skills have up to 30% chance to apply double the amount of poisoning damage. Yeah, those are pretty good. Um, let's see. Cold imbued skills have 30% chance to make enemies vulnerable. Uh, critical strike with cold imbued skills have a 20% chance to instantly freeze enemies for 3 seconds. Uh, cold imbued skills deal 20% damage to crowd controlled enemies. Double this bonus against frozen enemies. Hmm. Eh. Let's see. Uh, you deal 5% increased damage to chilled enemies. This bonus increases to 10% against frozen enemies. Chilled enemies have their movement speed further reduced by 10%. What about the sissy? Shadow damage has up to 10% chance to stun for half a second. Each time you kill an enemy with shadow damage, you generate 10 energy. Who the hell is talking? Oh, it's this asshole. Wait, I didn't do that. That was weird. What? What killed me? What the hell was that? It was like something just like blasted me and I died.
time to do that. Any more time. Time to do that. There we go. Yay, purple. Whew. It's a bit of a battle there. Let's see. Alright, what does that put me at? 147? Nice. Wait, I leveled up again? Or did I, did I never, oh no, I never did uh, use my skill point, did I? Uh, let's see. That one's pretty good. Or, well, no, that, no, never mind. That's not the one I was thinking of. Imbued skills gain 3% increased critical strike chance. Hmm. Where is the one that I was... Okay, here we go. Yeah, exploit. You deal 3% increased damage to vulnerable enemies. Hmm. Tell you what. Let's uh, go ahead and put one point into shadow imbuement. I guess uh, we'll try to yeah increase the power of it. Huh, guess my potion must have wore off. Okay, there we go.
any more time. those things. The hell? That was rude. It's like push me away. Intelligence, damn it. What's up with all the intelligence and strength ones? I need dexterity. Sorcerer, collecting crackling energy increases your movement speed by 10% for 4 seconds. Hmm. Eh, it's okay, not the best. Alright everyone, I guess I'm going to call this video here. I'm probably going to look online and uh, 
see uh, where I can farm some purple. That way uh, I can get, uh, you know, some decent weapons. But yeah, anyway, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.